All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakrash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone who taught us his truth. And Shalom also to the Akim, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. And to the speckled bird across the four corners of the world. And to the few sisters who are listening to you, we say Shalom. Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson. You know, right here is a, it's a beautiful day. Right here in the park. You know, I'm right here with the brother Rapayo, and we're making a lesson about putting the Lord first, right? And the reason why we want to go into this lesson is because we're coming into heavy times, and even the apostles dubbed this year the year of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai turning up, and as things are turning up on the left hand side, a on the right hand side, the Lord is turning things up too, and we got to put the Lord first above anything and anything else. Right here, this is um, even Yahweh Shai said it himself. He said, uh, they that who, who do not love, let me let me just get it. This is uh, Luke 14 and, um, let me see, it's a lot here. Let me get it one more time. Hey, mother, father. This is Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So part of being in this truth, Salakia, part of being in this truth, hey, you have to pick up your cross, man, and put the Lord first above what? Your mother, your father, your wife, your children, your brethren, your sisters, anybody that, you know, that's part of this world, right? You have to put the Lord above all those things, man, including a job, including uh, whatever situation you might be dealing with, man. You, you, you know... You, you're dealing with your woman, your children, whatever it may be. At the end of the day, the Lord comes first, man. Right. You're, you're the Most High is your everything, right? right? Your your wife, your children, you know, you know, so-called loved ones of this world. You know what I mean? Those are just extras, man. Bonuses. You gotta understand that the Lord is the one that has given it to you. You know, but you gotta put the Lord first. You know, always. You know, like the like like uh, Yahweh Shai said, you know, to his parents, didn't you know that I'm about my father's business? You know, roughly paraphrasing. That's right. All right, we're here to do the the, the work and will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai who sent us. All right, and that's why we count everything in this earth dung. You know what I'm saying? All right, so that what we could win Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is gonna bring us back to the Father. He's our mediator. That's right. Uh, uh, let this madness. Drive by real quick. Yeah, it's Satan. But nonetheless, um, you know you gotta be a good so uh, soldier for you, Hawashai. That's right. Hey, the scripture says you have to. Um, soldier did not get entangled in the affairs of this. Yeah. Let's see. That's it. Yeah, this is uh, Salakia, 2 Timothy 2 and 4. It says, No man that worth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen who has chosen him to be a soldier. You know, and the only way we're going to please Yahweh Bashim uh, uh who has chosen us first and foremost to be at, set at the defense of the gospel, man. How can we be uh, uh, set at the defense of the, of the gospel if we're too busy worrying about life, worrying about money? Worrying about how we're going to take care uh, of all these other things in life, man. Yahushua yeah, said, hey, hey, seek ye first the kingdom and all these things will follow. Hey, hey, all these we'll, things will come. Will, will be added onto you. That's right. All these things are going to be added to you, man. You know, if, if you follow Yahushua, you, you please the Lord, then yeah, he's going to uh, uh, he's gonna take care of you, man. You know, he well, the Lord even said it. I sent you out uh, with no scripts, no money, no purse, no shoes or nothing, you know. Nothing. And, and guess what? The apostles... We're taking care of. Can you grab that one? It's rock. You got it already? Perfect. Uh, the, uh, fight for the truth until death. Or? Oh, no, no, that one right there, 2 and 10. This is um, right here, Sirach 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And right. the answer is no, man. Right. The Lord didn't forsake uh, uh, anybody. The Lord didn't confound anybody. The Lord didn't forsake anybody that trusted in him. But more specifically, uh, any of his elect, you know what I'm saying? That's right. 
because his elect are the ones that trust in him you see his elect are the ones turning back to him now crying out to him believing in him hoping in him you know and that's why we call upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai because it is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and it's safe man all right we're defended we're fed all right we're sheltered all right from the elements and, and hatred of this world man this is an evil wicked place that we're living in and, right. and our only way out is through the Lord man that's right and that's why we put Yahweh Bashim Shai first that's why we have forsaken households wives and children all right uh, uh, you know, family members, you know, to what? To follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, that we may gain the Lord, you know, because all these things here are, are, are nothing but dung, man, you know, it, it's it's temporal. See, our our so called loved ones, you know, our, our, our you know, our, your, your, your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, all right, um, children, wives, hey, they're not the ones following the Lord, man. It's it's you that were called. It was you that Lord willing is chosen. That's right. right. To do the will of our Father and be about our Father's business. That's man. right. And it's the elect that are putting the Lord first. Yes. And guess what? When the elect, Lord will, we be part of that number. When we get salvation, we're yeah, going to be the firstborn of our family, man. So guess what? That means we're going to receive everything back a hundredfold, man. Well, that's promised to them. That's right. You know, that continue and endure to the end. you got to endure to the end. All right, that's why I told you in the scriptures. Can you grab that? Oh, did you finish that? Yeah. Get a, a gird up the loins of your mind. Good. Because nice. the times that we're coming into, you got to be mentally prepared and in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. To lose things. Yeah, to lose things. To, you know, so pray to the Lord to give you a spirit to endure all things, man. All right? You got to, the Lord is the one that giveth and taketh away. So you got to pray to the Lord to give you that spirit to endure to the end. That's right. This is First Peter 1 and 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So you have to gird up the loins of your mind, man. And first and foremost, girding up the loins of your mind, hey, you have to know that if you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation. And those temptations are going to come in many forms. Wait, you might lose your woman. Oh, yeah. you, might, you might lose children. You might lose a, a, a job. But guess what? At the end of the day, if you put the Lord first, you're going to be taken care of. Yahweh Shai said that, hey, we're more valuable than many sparrows. And right. one sparrow cannot even fall without the sanctioning of the Father, man. Exactly. So it, it, when you put that into perspective, if we're more valuable than many sparrows, man, the Lord said we're going to be taken care of, man. We're, we're always going to have food and we're always going to eat. Well, I told you in Isaiah 65, you know, my servant shall eat, drink and rejoice, you know. That's right. Um, and when you think of the, you know, Job, you know, Job, uh, um, you know, Satan pretty much thought he got Job, you know, he took away everything. But to Job, the most high was his everything. You see? What did King David say? Uh, I've never seen the righteous beg Grab bread. it. No, grab it. What's Don't quote it. How does it go? Uh, the righteous begging. Is it Psalms like 37? That's right. Seven, yep. this yeah, is, 37. Yeah. This is Psalms 37 and 25. I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Right. So, so even but like even with Job, you know, Job got everything taken away from him, yet at the end of him uh, he had double. Right? Because his everything was the most high, man. Alright, and he got his children back, you see? And and that's why we gotta gird up the loins of our minds. We have to know and understand the power that we serve and worship. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? Your children could be put to death on this side, but guess what? The Lord can raise them up, you know, and more beautiful at that. That's and right. with the law, and commandments in them, you see? Because that's what's coming, man. That's what's, that's a promise. That's the new covenant coming to us, man, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, which are comprised of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and the speckled bird. That's okay? right. This is a Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Exactly. So you had to keep on fighting, putting the Lord first, man. Hey, the scriptures talk about forgetting not the benefits of the Lord, man. There's benefits to serving the Lord, and those benefits, hey, on this side, you know, we're going to be humiliated. We're going to go through certain things. But guess what? At the end of the day, if we endure into the end, we're going to receive big benefits beyond what we could even imagine. The can Lord you, said... Can you grab it? 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. Huh, this is 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. It's also the same as Isaiah 64 and 4, but that one's good. 
This is uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9, but as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Right, and grab that Proverbs 8, the last two or three verses. Uh, this is you know, Proverbs. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's get to the scripture. Go back to it. Uh, real I'm quick, go back sorry. To it. This is uh let me get it over here. That's because the, the Corinthians. ambulance. Uh, you want me to read it again now? No, uh wasn't there one after that? Two and nine. No one after that one? Which one are you getting after that one? Uh the Proverbs eight. The last one. That's good. This one you read a different scripture. Alright, go ahead, I'm sorry. It says uh Proverbs eight and um 35 says for whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the lord but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul all they that hate me love death so hey man hey if you find the you find the hey, if you find your halabashim yaosha you're gonna obtain that favor from the lord and ultimately that's the that's the favor that we need we don't need favor from this side we don't need favor from uh people in the world we don't need favor from our managers you know most of these people uh, 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 um, when they see us, you know, they, they, they look at us and, and think we're strange. They, they, they think we're weird for not partaking in certain things that they're partaking in. We, you know, oh, we, take grab the, the same riotousness. Con, um, it's in First Peter, right? Let me see, access riot. Yeah. Let me see. This is uh, First Peter 4 and 4, wherein they think it's strange that you are not with them to the same excess of riot speaking evil of you right so, like, it looks weird uh that, that we don't go after the things of this world man that we don't follow after them you know these are people of the world you know the masses you know the crowd that goes after the bullshit and when us we're walking the other way all right we're seeking after the lord walking after the lord you know that's right and look and look this is, is a sparrow right here this is a spirit a little sparrow right there popped up and we were just talking about that and he's just but that's what it was a scripture about many sparrows that's right you know because uh the lord knows what we have need of you know yeah, so it is it, better it's better to to be subject to the father of spirits you know who gives every needful thing in due season you know because hey when the time comes of jacob's trouble we're gonna have that hedge all right when the famine is here all right when hyperinflation hits and, and and you know, two thirds storm the, the grocery stores and, and rob from the stores and then rob each other. All right, and then start invading one another. All right, because can you grab uh, Psalms 91, the, Psalm the 91. The first verse. Right. Hey, when all this shit happens, we're gonna be cool. You know, and this is why, because we made the most high our, 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 our secret spot. Go this ahead. This is Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty right under the the almighty man all right our heavenly father is looking out through us uh for us through you how should i keep hit verse 10 um, this is verse 10 it says there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling yeah because this is where we run to you see while well, two-thirds especially the nigga woman all 12 tribes of nigga women call 911 all right or call you know you know, they're, they're Debo or Tyrone or whoever the fuck they, they trust in, you know. We trust in the Lord, man. They trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. Exactly. And, and, hey, that's another thing, too, man. A lot of these people trust in their jobs. A lot of people trust in these people, uh, uh, their, their place of employment, their, their work spot, whatever, man. But at the end of the day, hey, that's not going to save you, man. It's going to be the Lord. And really, the whole reason why I wanted to make this lesson is because of a situation that I went through yesterday, man. You know, a, a, this manager, uh, you know, very prideful manager, man, made it seem like I was his slave. But at the end of the day, you know, I quit on his ass, you know, because I'm not going to let a job come between me and the Lord, especially Saturdays, man. You know, I, I, I told him that I couldn't work Saturdays. What did he do? Well, no, tell him the, the details. Eh? He, first, he approved you. Right? Exactly. You and know? then he took it away. First, I told him specifically I could not work Saturdays. Those Saturdays, I got another job, which is, hey, doing the work of the Lord. Right? First, he approved me. Right? He approved me for Saturdays off. And then the next day, what did he do? He put me on the schedule again for Saturdays. I confronted him, and he came at me bogus. He said, that's none of my business. That's not my problem so on and so forth i better see you here on saturday you know he's he was talking to me like i was his slave man 
But at the end of the day, you know, he could keep his fucking job. Because if it's coming between me and the Lord, guess what? I'm going to put the Lord first every single time. Lord will. You keep Lord that spirit, will. you know? Lord will. Whether it's a job, a woman, a, a, a mother, father, whoever it is, man, you got to put the Lord first above anything else. And guess what? Hey, we're going to be taken care of regardless. We got to have faith, man, that the Lord is going to uh, 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 see everything through. The Lord, hey, in that same scripture about many spares, the Lord said that the very hairs on your head are numbered, man. The very hairs on your head are numbered. The Lord knows everything about you, what you need. But, hey, man, you just had to, hey, if anything, this could have been a test for me, man. I could have stayed at that job. Uh, I've been like, all right, I'll go along with it. I guess I'll just tell brothers I can't go on Saturdays. Now, nah, fuck that, man. Put the Lord first. It doesn't matter if I lose a job, man. At the end of the day, it was the Lord that gave me that job. I prayed for that job, got hired on the spot. Guess what? The Lord is going to give me another job, man. It's an easy thing for the Lord to do things like that, man. Right, he's the power over all flesh, man. That's right. He's the creator of heaven and earth, you know. So at the end of the day, hey, put the Lord first, man. Okay. Don't let nobody, mother, father, job, woman, children, no matter what it is, man. Don't let nobody take this truth from, from you, man. Fight for the truth until death and the Lord is... Hey, strive for the truth until death and the Lord is going to fight for you, man. Keep fighting, man. Okay. So with that, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Hakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, the title of truth. Wa, Abad, Baba, Shalom.